Hello everyone, it is Winnie and I. We are just hanging out. We went to run errands and we're having a, a good day so far. I want to talk about something that might help parents in general. Um, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say just because we have our children doesn't mean we'll have them in the future and doesn't mean we own them. And I think a lot of, not a lot, but some parents struggle with the fact that their children one day will move on, get married, have children, and the dynamics of the relationship will change. And I knew one day my children would be gone and get married and, well, maybe get married, maybe have children, but basically have lives of their own. And I think it's hard for some moms to give up and let go and allow their baby birds to to leave the nest. And I had a I I had a great relationship with my children when they were in my home. Get along. It was nice for the most part. I'm not saying we didn't have challenges, but I was hoping as they got older and they became adults and did their own thing, I would still have contact with them. We would still chat. Once in a while we'd hang out. And I wasn't really quite sure how the dynamic would change if they got married and had kids. I think I would have been a hands-on grandma. <laughs> Simply because my grandmothers were hands-on and I'm retired and I have the time and I have, you know, we live very close to a lake and we have a boat and like to take walks and I have deer in my neighbor, you know, in my yard and I have sandhill cranes and lots of birds and just, I, I also have birds in the house and, you know, different pets and things like that. And I never, I, I guess because I don't know what it's like to have children as, as to have adult children or adult sons and daughters, or I should say adult daughters. I'm not really quite sure how it would have gone, to be honest with you. But I, I, I would hope that I wouldn't have staked a claim to them. I would have hoped that I wouldn't have had to, that I wouldn't have been a challenging mother-in-law. Or I don't think I would have interrupted or intruded too much simply because my own grandmothers didn't interrupt too much. I said, I think simply because they were involved in our lives and we had relationships with them and saw them very often, at least every week we were seeing my grandmothers just hanging out or chit-chatting, visiting, etc. So I don't really quite know how it would have gone. Um, uh, someday I might know, but until that time, um, I'm very fortunate to have relationships with other young people and other people's children, so I can kind of be an extra grandma for them. And so... That's all I know is even if we have children, doesn't mean we're going to have them in our lives as they become adults. And it doesn't mean we own them. They don't owe us their time. They don't owe us calls, text messages. Is it is it nice to have a reciprocal, reciprocal relationship with our children? Absolutely. It's nice to text them and they text you back and you spend holidays and, you know, say on their birthday, send them a happy birthday or do something special you know, just carry on traditions. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope this helps someone and I hope you have a great day.